Pipsqueak lay in his bed. Something wet fell on his head. Drip, drop, plip, plop. Oh no, cried Pipsqueak. I've got a leak. Hello, everybody. This is Drip Drop, a book by Sarah Weeks, illustrated by Jane Manning. And I think this is a rhyming story. Drip, drop, plip, plop, squeak, leak. He climbed up and got a cup. This cup will do the trick, he said. Off he went back to bed. His eyes had just begun to close, then something wet fell on his toes. Drip, drop, plip, plop. Oh no, cried Pipsqueak, I've got a new leak. Away he ran to get a pan. This pan will do the trick, he said. Off he went back to bed. He closed his eyes and snuggled in. Then something wet fell on his chin. Drip, drop, plip, plop. Oh no, cried Pipsqueak, I've got another leak. He went and got a big pot. This pot will do the trick, he said. Off he went back to bed. Thunder boomed. Lightning flashed, a new leak splished, another splashed. Drip, drop, plip, plop, down came the rain, it would not stop. It filled the pot, it filled the pan, it filled the cup, it filled the can. It filled the pail, and after that, it filled the glass. It filled the hat. Uh -oh. It filled the tub. It filled the shoe. Pipsqueak did not know what to do. Oh, there's water everywhere. There was nothing left to catch the drips and drops, or plips and, or plops. I give up, said Pipsqueak. I've just, just go ahead and leak. There was nothing left to catch the drips or drops or plips or plops. I give up, said Pipsqueak. Just go ahead and leak. He hung his head and closed his eyes. Then Pipsqueak had a big surprise. The sun came out, the rain had stopped. No drops dripped, no plips plopped. Come jump in the puddles, his friends all said. But Pipsqueak ran and jumped in bed. Pipsqueak, Pipsqueak had a very difficult night, so he needs to sleep. Okay, so this is Drip Drop. And there's a lesson in this book. If you tell me what the lesson is, I will give you some extra dojo points. Okay. Bye, everybody. See you next time.